As a mycologist, I'm interested in the study of biodiversity. What is in an area and what, what it's associated with? Which habitats, what season, when you find it, and what the species are? Unlike um, lots of other groups of organisms, we do not have a good handle on the biodiversity of fungi and mushroom-forming fungi. We're doing a project called the North American Mycophora Project, and we're going to take a big snapshot of all the fungi in North America on the whole continent and try to establish uh, ranges and run DNA sequences and add new mushrooms to herbaria all over the country. Having those records enables you to see the scope of mycology through time. This is one of the things that we're trying to really um, harness in the mycology world is the power of citizen scientists to help um, us understand fungi, how many there are out there and what they could potentially be doing. This ability to cooperate where, where academic mycologists have access to laboratories, they have, we have facilities, we have the knowledge to collect and analyze things like genetic sequence data, and then you have this vast amount of knowledge that's in the, the citizen science community. Once uh, we started talking more to one another, we realized that there's a lot of opportunity for synergy. So we're working closely with professional mycologists to make this happen, but it's up to members of mushroom clubs and citizen scientists to get engaged and help us collect mushrooms and help pursue science. Clubs can um, work on that at whatever level they want. If they want to make a list, or they want us to save specimens, take photos. What's important about vouchering is it makes a permanent record. It makes the act of picking that mushroom matter to science forever. Just having more eyes and boots on the ground is really what's gonna make um, something like a North American mycophora really powerful. So every individual person and amateur that's out there has something that they can potentially contribute. <laughs>